Throughout its history, the BMW 6 Series name has defined long, shark-nosed coupes built for long-distance driving and comfort that's changed in recent years with the introduction of the 6 Series convertible and the 6 Series Grand Coupe four-door and this year it changes further with the introduction of the latest 6 Series, a four-door hatchback the 2018 BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo bears little resemblance to the other 6 Series models, and that's because it's actually the successor to last year's 5 Series Grand Turismo. In BMW nomenclature, Gran Turismo denotes a car with four doors and a swoopy hatchback rear and the design provides additional interior space and cargo volume, so it's becoming more popular elsewhere in the industry as a middle ground between sedan and SUV when viewed in profile, you might see traces of everything from the Tesla Model X to the new Honda Accord aside from the name change. The new Gran Turismo has a sleeker nose that's sharpened in part by its standard LED headlights it's a little longer and lower, adjustments that help smooth out the awkward proportions of the previous model. More importantly, it trades the complicated and heavy two-mode hatchback of the 5 Series GT for one that opens in a more traditional manner this change, and others like it, help the 6 Series Gran Turismo trim some weight compared to the 5 Series GT, which aids both its performance and efficiency only one trim will be available at launch. The 640i X-Drive it comes with a turbocharged 3.0-liter inline six-cylinder engine and an eight-speed automatic transmission that sends power to all four wheels. The setup is fortified with technology that uses information from the navigation system to prepare the transmission and engine for sharp turns, stops, or anything else that might require a downshift to smooth things out with 335 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. The 640i accelerates effortlessly and quietly while the transmission makes near imperceptible shifts an array of drive modes can stiffen the suspension until you feel each bump in the road or make the steering wheel increasingly difficult to turn in the name of sportiness. Back it off to the default comfort setting and the optional air suspension keeps things compliant, lowering the car at speed to improve airflow. This is the setting where the 640i performs best as it glides along smoothly and quietly with minimal driver effort. The 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster changes appearance depending on the drive mode, but it remains clear and easy to read no matter the setting. An informative and customizable head-up display is optional, but it disappears if you happen to wear polarized sunglasses. As with all hatchbacks, the Gran Turismo's advantages over a traditional sedan are its rear headroom and cargo capacity big doors and frameless windows make for a welcome entry into an interior that feels massive, even with the standard sunroof occupants of all heights and sizes will find comfort inside there's even enough space for rear passengers to cross their legs front passengers can enjoy the optional luxury seating package that adds soft, 20-way adjustable front seats with heating, ventilation and massage. Rear passengers can find comfort in the optional power reclining seat backs and pillow-like headrests that conspire to make the back seat more desirable than the front as for cargo space. There's 31 cubic feet available with the 40-24 teeth split rear seats upfold those seat backs and the space opens up to 65 cubic feet. The two cargo cover shades move out of the way easily for loading, and you can store them in a conveniently located slot under the floor.